Where's my coffee? I was gonna start filming, but I've lost my coffee. How do you lose your coffee? It's not like it ran away. Success. Coffee engaged. Hello there, my beautiful, lovely, talented, and delightful internet friends. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Today we have a task to accomplish, an adventure, a quest, if you will, that you and I are gonna tackle, and we are going to knock it out of the park. Do you like all the drummed up confidence and enthusiasm? <laughs> Is it convincing? To anyone looking at my coffee cup right now and thinking, I don't trust Joe with that, that that's not on a solid surface, it's definitely gonna spill. It's not, we're gonna be fine, I think. What I am holding in my hand here is a prosthetic sleeve. If you didn't know, I'm missing a foot. And this part, this part right here is called a sleeve. It's what helps keep this section in my leg. It allows me to walk. I'm very grateful for it, but there is a problem. It's very good at springing holes. And this becomes a problem, honestly, because when this has a hole in it, every time I walk, I hiss out air and it's embarrassing. It sounds like I'm constantly passing gas. It also makes it so that I cannot walk comfortably. The suction is what keeps this on my leg, right? Everyone wonders about if my leg has ever fallen off. No, it has not. And that is because of the suction that this provides. So when this has a hole, we all have a problem. And thus, my amazing prosthetist, Zach Harvey, and his team up in Denver, Creative Technologies Prosthetics. Check it out if you are an amputee. I cannot recommend them highly enough. I am not paid to say that. I just happen to love them. Sent me down an extra sleep. And this is actually a new kind of sleep I haven't tried before, so this will be interesting for all of us. But what I want you to understand, if you're not an amputee, is that getting this thing onto this thing is a lot more difficult than it might appear. So let me show you what this is made of so you can better understand the predicament I find myself in. However, as we dive into this video and you hit that like button if you feel like it, a quick word from one of my favorite sponsors. Before we continue with our normally scheduled programming for today, I am very excited to introduce yet again our sponsor for today's video, Abridge. Abridge is an app that I would highly recommend anyone who ever has to have important medical conversations or go to a doctor's appointment, download. I put a link down below. You've heard me talk about these guys before, but what this app allows you to do is not only record medical conversations, but it also transcribes them. It also pulls out what could be potentially important medical words. It gives you terminology from places like the Mayo Clinic. On top of that, if you're talking about different prescriptions, it'll also suggest GoodRx coupons for those prescriptions so you can get them a little bit more affordably. I really can't speak highly enough about this company. I've also been able to have conversations one-on-one -on -one with some of them and they are really delightful human beings. I'm very proud and grateful to be able to be working with them. Pretty recently, I had a conversation with my doctor about finally coming off of and ending the antidepressants I've been on. You guys may have seen that video a couple videos ago and I was able to record that conversation right here so I can reference back to it. To me, this is so important because talking to doctors, a couple different things happen. Sometimes I get a little intimidated, sometimes I get tongue-tied, sometimes I'm overwhelmed by the information. So being able to have a transcript and a recording to refer back to is absolutely fantastic. I make it a point to bring family members or friends with me to important doctors' conversations so that they can remember things that I can't, but that isn't always possible. And even on top of that, it's good to have a record of what was said so you can do your own research or so you can refer back to it. There, there are a million different reasons you might want to have this, but whatever that reason might be, I would highly recommend checking them out. Download a bridge, let me know what you think. I would love to know how many of you guys are already using this. Um, as you can tell, it's something I'm very excited about. It's something that was lacking for a really long time that I wished I had, but I didn't even really know what I was wishing for. So when they contacted me, I think over a year ago now, um, I was really excited to start using them and I've used them even when they weren't sponsoring a video. So a bridge, thank you for sponsoring this video. Please go check them out in the link down below in the description and now let us return to our normally scheduled programming. By the way, this right here is the best thing ever invented. A simple strip of Velcro, but it makes it so that when I put it on right here, my pants don't roll this up as I try to put them on. Thank you, creators of Velcro. Okay, so taking my sleeve off, Easy, oh my god, that almost hit my coffee. Shake the dog hair out. Taking my sleeve off is not that big of a problem. You just pull it off, you roll it up, right? No big deal. But the inside of this, is made of a very, very sticky substance. It's rubbery, almost feels moist even though it's not. Yes, I used that dreaded word. And trying to get this on to the top of this can pose some problems. In fact, my prosthetics team has come up with a demonstration reel, if you will, of ways not to do this that people actually try. You have a foot? Don't put on your suspension sleeve like this. <laughs> Another way not to put it on. <laughs> it's 
So folks, that is not what we are gonna be doing today. Uh, what we are gonna be doing today is that last demonstrated technique. Let me show you what method I previously preferred. What I used to do to get sleeves on in all of my brilliance, Seems great in theory, right? It's technically on there, but to try to get it up and in the right place, especially when it's brand new and uh, much less stretchy than it is now, is always a pain. And then when you try to pull it on, it pulls up and then it's not in the right place. That's totally even. So we are gonna try the prosthetist approved method today for this new sleeve. Now, I do want to note, I have never had one of these kinds of sleeves before, but I'm very interested to see how this is gonna fit because I have tried other sleeves before and sometimes they're really bulky, sometimes they're like different colors. You wouldn't think this matters as much as it does, but it's really important to me that my leg matches, that like everything is a cohesive color and right now that color is black. Um, there was one sleeve I had that was blue. It worked with one t-shirt I have in that closet and that was it. So how my prosthetic looks is important to me and the sleeve is a part of that. So let's try that. I also want to say that this looks super, super small. Like compare those two openings. I really hope my leg isn't too muscly. We're gonna go with muscly. Isn't too muscly for this. All right, Zach and Tyler and team, let's put this on the right way. Now I'm questioning what the right way is. Hold on. <laughs> this does not seem long enough. I'm gonna trust the process. Just to give you an idea, this is me stretching this pretty hard and I've gotta get it to fit over that. Perhaps this is not the best angle for showing the difference, but this is a challenging feat. Oh, I do like the fabric though. That's all right. Gotta get the knee forward. This is, this is really small. Oh, I think I did it. Okay. One of the things I miss about having a foot is being able to like grab hold of things, right? I used to like always grab hold of things with my feet when I was trying to do things. And now it's uh, a little more awkward. <laughs> this did not go on evenly, but it did go on. I guess it's hard that it's good to get on and off because you don't want it coming off. <laughs> You put anything down in my house, it is immediately covered by an insane amount of dog hair. You want a clean house, don't get German Shepherds. <sighs> and now the moment of truth. Don't think this is big enough for my leg. <laughs> maybe, maybe it is. Trust the process. I'm gonna trust the process. So in case you haven't seen any of my other videos where I'm doing this, to get this on my leg, fold it down like so. You pray that too much dog hair doesn't get caught on the outside in the process. It never works. By the way, also, if you didn't know, I always roll down the top of my liner, which is this thing. This is also a weird, sticky, sort of moist substance, and it connects with the sleeve and thus forms the suction that is necessary to walk. Oh man, this is tight, tight, tight. Okay, all right. Oh man. <laughs> my leg is trying to get out of the top of this sleeve. I'm gonna bring it down. I'm gonna bring the whole sleeve down a little bit so it gives the top of my leg a little bit more room. All right, let's try this one more time. Okay, I think we have a winner. We did it guys. And we have success. If you're an amputee or you know someone who is, I'm curious if this is like a thing for you too, like making sure that did you see that dog hair? I really hope you didn't. I kicked in like a bunch of dog hair. I promise I vacuum. I vacuum literally every day, but yesterday I had a migraine and I couldn't vacuum and within 24 hours, the dog hair gets out of control. Yes, I do brush my dogs. I don't know how they do it. They have magical shedding powers. But like I was saying, a quirk that I have is that these, these have to match. It's very important to me that my socket is black and my sleeve is black and thus it can go with, I feel like anything I'm wearing. I know some people are very particular about everything being flesh colored or as many things as possible. I personally don't like that for my Myself. I kind of like the, the carbon fiber robot look. I'd like to embrace that. And uh, I really appreciate Zach and your team sending me this sleeve that happens to be black. <sighs> We've done a lot today, folks. We've learned how not to put on a prosthetic sleeve, which regardless of if you're an amputee or not, you gotta admit, that is useful knowledge to have. You can just like whip that out at any party, out of your back pocket, be like, listen, I know five ways not to put a prosthetic sleeve on a prosthetic leg. People are gonna think you're cool. I'm, it's just it's just how it works. I promise you it works. We learned the effective way to put on a prosthetic sleeve. We successfully executed said technique. And I think, I think we can call it a day, guys. I think we've accomplished a lot. Thank you again so much to our sponsor for today's video. I have put all their information down below. Thank you to my patrons for being a part of this community, for financially supporting my channel. It means the world to me. I do not take that for granted. To you watching this video right now, you could be anywhere in the world doing absolutely anything. I don't know you personally, perhaps, but I know that there are so many things you could do with your time and it means the world to me that you spent these five, 10, 15 minutes with me. I love you guys. I'm thinking about you and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. I haven't heard from the sky, all about it, down the river high tide.